assalamu alaikum so i'm back with a new case and today it is about cardiomyopathy and this is from third year mbbs so the case is of a patient with alcoholic cardiomyopathy a 42 year old man was admitted to the ward with complaints of progressive dyspnea on exertion and fatigue his physical exam showed peripheral edema he denied having any palpitations or chest pain medical history did not reveal any cardiovascular event so he didn't have a past history he had been consuming alcohol since last 15 years and was a regular habitual drinker his cardiac examination showed a moderate systolic murmur now you should think why does this systolic murmur occur at thoracic examination bilateral signs of pulmonary edema you should think when does pulmonary edema occur could be heard he was diagnosed with alcoholic cardiomyopathy and some other things as well which you will encounter in the options he would most likely exhibit so here are your options a systolic dysfunction mitral regurgitation and reduced ejection fraction diastolic dysfunction and conduction abnormalities restrictive cardiomyopathy with mitral stenosis thinning of right ventricle and replacement of myocytes with fatty tissue ventricular fibrosis decrease in ventricular compliance and impaired ventricular filling now before jumping to the answer i would invite you to think about the different cardiomyopathies and their uh, features so you have uh, dilated cardiomyopathy you have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and you have restrictive cardiomyopathy so the main and the important point is that only dilated cardiomyopathy will show you systolic dysfunction so here's your answer a systolic dysfunction with mitral regurgitation and reduced ejection fraction you should go back and check in the book that what are the differentiating points of these three uh, type of cardiomyopathies and how can you differentiate between these if i give you another case in your exam that's all my dear friends inshallah i'll see you again with the next case um, in a couple of days inshallah and uh, please leave a comment and do share with your friends if you think it is beneficial to them assalam alaikum